Is this a good angle? No. It's definitely a good angle of you, baby girl. Mmm. What's up, babe? Hey guys, so um, I know I said that I was going to do some Lexus update videos, but uh, we got really, really busy and I was running into some camera difficulties. So um, the car is uh, finished. Um, it's a 95 Lexus LS400. Um, pretty basic build. Shout out to you, Robbie. Um, the car has coilovers, some adjustable rear arms, front bash bar, straight pipe from the intermediate pipe back, and a welded diff. My plan is basically to just go out there, get some drive time in, and um, hope for the best. I haven't really like had any any like on track drifting experience, so it's gonna be a learning experience for me. And it's probably going to be some entertainment for you guys. So the other night, Ronan and I were kind of bored at the shop. And we've been talking for a couple months about building a bash bar. We finally decided to get one done. Uh, turned out pretty good, actually. We just painted it with trim clad and some uh, like red pearl. But it ended up looking purple. So that's cool, too. Uh, the wheels that I currently have on the car are 17 by 10 and a half plus 28 American muscle bullets because I need as many bald eagles as I can get. So here's the seat in some better lighting. Um, this is the seat and bracket that I kind of made the past video with RCI five point harness, but I'm running only the four point. Got to shout out Daily Driven Mods for helping me along the journey and NV Auto for hooking me up with the alignment, which I just got today, by the way. Anyways, so this is my rear suspension setup. Uh, these three arms are Godspeed adjustable arms. Uh, this lower control arm uh, toe arm and then the traction arm these are the coilovers that I went with uh, they're HSDs they work for UCF 10 and UCF 20 um, the only downside is on UCF 20 cars when they go low they go really low hence why I have the coilover so extended um, the spring rates are 12K rear and 14K front, so it's pretty stiff, which explains why I don't have sway bars on at the moment. I took the car for a test drive and uh, it, it felt a little too tight, so I took them off and uh, I'm gonna give it a shot without them. For exhaust, um, because I'm a broke ass bitch and can't afford mufflers, I went with uh, just a straight pipe with a turn down that Ronan made for me. And then when it came to hangers, I just drilled through the holes or drilled through the floors and used like a nut and bolt with this um, hanger strapping kind of deal to, to hold the exhaust up and it works pretty well. I haven't had any issues yet. Um, one downside actually, uh, it kind of rattles a lot inside the car, but it's a drift car and I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm loading the car up. Uh, Friday afternoon evening to go to Spring Bash which is presented by Top Drift shout out to King Trick uh, the track the event is at is called Shannonville Motorsports Park um, if you want to check it out uh, search T-O-P-P -P Drift in the Facebook search bar. The events are almost always at Shannonville. Once in a while, they'll have one at Toronto Motorsports Park. But um, yeah, cool event to check out if you're into drifting, if you're kind of into drifting, if you want to be into drifting. Um, and it's always a blast.